This integral stuff can get complicated, I know. And you know, it's a math guy, see. Divide weight, the integral of dx over x squared times the square root of x squared minus 1. So, I guess I've seen those two terms underneath the square root, and it's not a u sub, then we think, well, maybe it's a trig sub. So here, since the x squared minus 1, let x be secant of theta. Then we see that dx, the root of secant, is secant tangent. So secant of theta, tangent of theta, d theta. Then we know our square root of x squared minus 1 will simplify, right? That becomes the square root of secant squared of theta minus 1. We know that secant squared minus 1 is tangent squared, so this is the square root of tan squared of theta, which is just tangent of theta. So using all of that, things get to canceling. We end up with our dx, which is secant of theta, tan of theta, d theta, divided by x squared, which would be secant squared of theta. And then that square root becomes, we say it was just tangent of theta. Simplifying that, we see that one secant cancels and a tangent cancels. So we're left with just the integral of 1 over secant of theta, d theta. We know 1 over secant is just cosine, right? So this is the integral of cosine of theta, d theta. We know the integral of cosine is just sine of theta. Once we're done integrating, don't forget the plus c. But now we have to back substitute, right? We made that stuff up, that whole theta stuff. And so we need to find out what x is, what this integral is in terms of x. So using our triangle, the square root of 1 minus x squared, the square root of x squared minus 1. Now to find the sine, we just say the sine is the opposite of what hypotenuse. In other words, this one would be the square root of x squared minus 1 over x plus c. Always remember, math is everywhere.